Good evening sports fans and welcome to the Hellenic Club in Canberra where we have just completed the first round of the O2C Doval Cup for 2011. This year we've got a, a strong field, six Grandmasters, a number of Australia's best players and uh, in the first round uh, the top seeds certainly didn't have it easy. We had uh, top seed from Denmark, Sunneberg Hansen, taking five hours to beat his opponent Paul Brookhouse. Further down, 11-year-old uh, Carl Zalesko, the lowest rated player in the tournament, defeated uh, the New Zealand international Tony Dowden. Many other upsets, Australian Olympian Stephen Solomon went down to uh, Victorian teenager Eugene Sean. But the game I want to show you is one that uh, is between the third seed, Andre Devyatkin from Russia, and Lawrence Matheson, the 14-year-old from Melbourne. Matheson was white and started with D4. We had a Slav defence and Matheson, Matheson played an exchange Slav. It's got a reputation as a rather drawish opening, but it's not that easy. So, Bishop F4, Knight out, Knight C3, Knight C6, E3. And here, Deviatkin, instead of playing symmetrically with Bishop F5, he decided to go for some complications. Bishop G4, Queen B3 hitting the pawn, so Knight attacked the Queen and defended the pawn. Check, mm, wrong Bishop, Bishop back, Queen C2, and E6. So Matheson has achieved something uh, from his queen manoeuvre and that is getting the bishop locked in here. But now he became a little bit over ambitious. He went for the big knight here. His idea is a check down here uh, or possibly bishop here winning a piece. Of course black replied bishop check and now instead of bringing the knight back which would be probably the best move he played King D1. It's a very, very ambitious idea by the youngster, but unfortunately it, it seems to not quite work. So, black castles, pawn A3. Now if the bishop goes back, bishop C7 attacks queen and uh, attacks the knight. So he played rook C8, counter-attacking against the queen, but white counter-attacked again, bishop C7, interfering with the rook's attack on the queen. The queen had to move, and now you can't take the knight at the moment because of um, the pin along here. And if you take the bishop, then we can play bishop takes knight here, and followed by rook takes bishop. In, instead, white tried queen a4, but now things worked out rather well for Debbie Atkin. Bishop takes here, bishop takes back, queen takes. So in the end, white has not won material. And the worst part about it was black has a rather deadly counterattack. Check, king ran away, knight c4, and this is a dominating position for black, who launched a very quick attack and went on to win the game without problems. So, Debbie Atkin won. On board two, we had David Aretinian from Georgia. He, he comfortably won his game against David Hatchie, the Victorian veteran. Further down, Australian Grandmaster Daryl Johansson won. Uh, so most of the top seeds got through in the end, but uh, it, it certainly wasn't easy for them. Second round is going to be even more difficult, and uh, that's going to be played tonight. Stay tuned.